coming away and being in cabins has definitely been a huge part of my sort of composing practice over the last 10 years. I think I wrote most of Passagalia Apis in a little tiny cabin in Canada, which became like a big orchestral work that people liked. <laughs> and I wrote a lot of Isolation 20 last year in the same little cabin. Um, and I wrote half of the Oratorio, the Embracing Universe, in the back of a Volkswagen van on an iPad. Um, there's something about, even it's funny because even if you've got your own studio like I do, with all the instruments in there and the computer and the mixing desk and the piano, where you can make any music you want, there's something very important about just bringing a couple of things that are essential and having a very simple space because it allows your mind to be free, I think. You know, all all the ideas can flow then and not get distracted and not get caught up in unending possibility. Headphones, really important. Some noodles, keep me going while I'm working. Some cables, iPad. That's going to be like where I do recording and drawing and making sketches of recordings. Important to have a few of these notebooks and pencils and pens and more notebooks. This is a notebook that I had for lots of time and I've made a lot of notes on that. Here I brought with me the Bach violin sonatas, they go with me and just great inspiration when you're working. This one's wrapped in one of my slippers, the Zoom H6, that's going to be like recording and interface and whatever, that can go into the iPad, pen knife, camera battery, this is very important for making tea. And this is some tea bags of Earl Grey and my beloved Lapsang Souchong, which is very important too. Mark Rothko, the unfriendliness of society to his activity is difficult for the artist to accept, yet this very hostility can act as a lever for true liberation. Freed from a false sense of security and community, the artist can abandon his plastic bank book, just as he has abandoned other forms of security. Both the sense of community and of security depend on the familiar. Three of them, transcendental experiences become possible. I've come to this cabin to start work on a whole body of new music and sometimes you have to go away and be on your own for a little while and think about try and see the vision of what it is you're approaching it's like going up a big mountain <laughs> and right I'm kind of at the beginning stages right now so I know that it's gonna take shape often at the beginning lots of ideas come and then you hit a point where you go oh god how do I even keep going with this but right now it's a piece I'm, I'm, I've got a vision for a whole new work the violin choir electronic bass synthesizer and electronic drum machine played 
everything will be played live and scored. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm kind of doing this thing like a painter. I'm in this painting studio and I'm working on um, going to the old masters, which for me is bark. And every few hours I sit and I play a piece of bark, solo violin stuff. And then I try and pick apart what exactly he was doing on the violin. And then I try and kind of start improvising to make my own version. It might not be anything like what Bart did, but it might just use some little way, like almost like the way he uses a painter uses paint or colour. I think it's quite a nice way to work, because then that opens up loads of possibility. <laughs> <laughs> 